Okay, so this is the first packet tracer for the final project in CIS 111. And what I'm going to do here is add a couple of uh, generic GIN devices. Okay, and I'm going to also add a generic hub. And then I'm going to connect them with a copper straight through. I'm going to use a fast Ethernet connection on PC0 and then connect it to port 0 on the hub. And I'm going to use a copper straight through on PC1 as well. Fast Ethernet connected to the hub, port 1. Then what I'm going to do is go in and configure this first uh, PC0. Uh, go to the fat, fast Ethernet. Actually, what I need to do first is change the name. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to change this to PC. Let's see what they want me to change it to. Uh, PCA. PC dash A. Dash A. Okay. And I'm going to go to Fast Ethernet over here, create a static IP ad address, which is 192.168.1.1. I am going to come down to the subnet mask, and it's auto-populating with 255.255.255.0. Okay, so that one is complete. And I'm going to come over here to PC number 1 and configure this one as well. I am going to change this one's name to PC-B. PC-B. And then I'm going to come down here to PC Ethernet and give it an IP address of 192.168.1.2. And again, the subnet mask will auto-populate. Then, what I'm going to do is come over here and switch to the simulation mode. I'm going to edit the filters. I am going to simply use the ARP and the ICMP. I'm going to click off of that. Um, grab a PDU, simple PDU. Actually, I just click on it. Uh, click on PC-A. And then click on PC-B, and you will see that the two um, filters are here represented by the two envelopes. Now I'm going to press Auto Capture Play. I've got it on fast speed so we can get through this quickly. And I'm going to allow it to do its process. And now you will see that it's simply the ICMP up here because the ARP is already established. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is power cycle all the devices. And it's going to say that uh, startup configuration will be lost and reset the network. Yes. Now I'm going to auto play, capture, or auto capture play again. And you can see the ARP established itself once again. ICMP has gone through, and now we're all set. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is right click. Oh, wait a minute. I got to get on the magnifying glass here, which represents uh, inspect. And I'm going to look at the ARP table. And you see there. It's got the uh, MAC address as well as the IP address. And I'm going to look at this one's ARP table. And once again, we have IP address and the MAC address. And so from here, what I'm going to do is open up PC-A. I'm going to go to the desktop, command prompt, type in ARP-A space dash a actually and it will show me the same information do the same on this one desktop 
command prompt ARP space dash A enter and now what I'm going to do is bring my activity over check the results and I've accomplished this activity successfully